Hello and welcome back! This is a special episode on my show in which I fix some jewelry, which I no normally don't... Uh, which I normally wouldn't do, but as you may have noticed, I haven't really been wearing my customary gloves and ring, and that's because my ring is slowly falling apart. Yes. Um, you may not have noticed, but I have had to fix this uh, ring before. There's a metal loop here that I had to drill through and then pinch that on there, and it's holding together much better than these just little nubbins that are stuck in holes. I'm going to take it all the way down apart and uh, put these rivets all the way through and these rings all the way through. So now I'll be nice and sturdy and I clench my fist and, you know, punch people's lights out and it won't come apart. If you're thinking about buying one of these sort of rings, these form kind of a ring that isn't a real metal, this is just an alloy, Keep in mind that they're very delicate and very soft. Despite how much you might pay for them, they are made of cheap metal. Unless you get one that specifically says titanium, steel, silver, gold, something like that. It is basically, it's going to fall apart after not too much wear or anything. And even just like oh, picking things up in the store I work in, it warped the metal enough that it eventually broke in half. It's pretty thin anyway. So, yeah. Let me see if I just... Yeah. Well, bait him on! Whoa! Oh no, I reset him. Ah! Bait him on! What have I done? It's okay, I saved recently. Uh. I don't want to look at. Bait him on. My new mascot. You sit there, and you be very quiet because your music is very annoying. Alright, there we go. Now he'll stay put. Okay, so yeah, uh, first and foremost, I'm going to pinch apart the pieces that... Argh! Well, now you don't want to come apart, but the whole thing came apart in the store in my hands, and it was not a pleasant experience. One of those has not come off because it's riveted. So, you are coming with me. Come on, is that the... Uh, is that? No, it's not. It's not even the part I fixed, and it doesn't want to come apart. Come on. The top fell off. Why won't the rest? Let me see if I can just kind of convince it to come with me. Ah, there we go. There's one just about our. Oh, yep. There we go. And I'll bend that back into shape. And this way I can custom fit it to my hand too, so it doesn't look quite so uh, blocky. That one's gonna stay, of course. Now I just have to break this part. Yep, there we go. Yeah, you can see I don't really have to exert too much strength on it. Uh-huh. And now I want to cut these nubbins off first and foremost. So, I have a dinky pair of scissors. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Even these cheap little, uh... Yeah, that took that right off. So, just goes to show how cheap this is. And I have a knife over here on the right to smooth it down with as well. So I'm going to cut off as best I can here. Because I want to put the rivet right by where that is. Slicey slice. Going to be a much cooler ring. Alright. It's... It does damage it a bit, but hey, at least you can keep wearing it then. And you customize it to make it look a little bit more interesting. So, next piece. So sparkly. That one came off nice. Now I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna clean it off a bit, pretty much. Don't have to do too much. This might be a bit safer. Yeah, so just set it down and then just go along it and slice down, pretty much. Watch that up there. Oh yeah, I have to also cut off these uh, horrible things and put holes on that side. So, oh yeah, there, that's perfect. Now that I flattened it out a bit more. And I'll worry about shaping it to my finger after I've got the holes in, so right above the nubbin. I believe this is the drill I used last time. If not, 
Yeah, it should still work. I've got a slightly better drill. Yeah, that one will work better. It's got a bit of a point on it. Can't really see it, but trust me, it does. So don't worry about stabbing yourself because um, it's not going to. So you just hold it still as best as you can and start drilling. That's where I want it. Yep. Keep in mind that it is going to flex a bit and cause more damage to the ring. So you don't want to make it too close to the edge to start it off a bit too shallow. Else it will just break once more, but it will break along a rivet and that will be much more awkward to fix. You may in that case have to end up soldering it, which I'm avoiding doing because I don't really want to put that much effort into one little ring. This to me is more like working on a piece of jewelry. You can see it's already starting to make a bit of a dent there. Just keep at it and eventually it will pop through. Don't put too much pressure on or you might poke yourself, but this is just your average wood drill or clay drill so it's not really of a particular hazard. Oh, Betamon's gone into power save mode. No, why have you left us, Betamon? There we go. It's broken through now. Poof! Easy. So now I'm just going to go in and out on either side to make sure it's... Uh, nice and clean and it won't be rubbing against my skin too badly but it makes a pretty clean hole when you do it so it's not not too much of a worry yeah, just go wiggle it around a bit make sure it's a nice clean cut and there you go and now I'm gonna line this up with this and there and that's where I'll punch the ring through so I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to put the rivets along all the sides that are necessary. And there's also going to be a need for those down there. But first I'll finish up with the top rivets. Because <clears throat> it's a bit of a nuisance to go through each one. one. Okay, now I've got all the holes for... Okay, now I've got all the basic holes for the first rings. Now I've just got to fix how this is going to actually sit on my finger. So I need to cut off this extra and make it look nice, smooth it down. This, Just carefully put it in there and yeah! There we go. I don't want to slice too much of the rest of it. Yep, there you go. Nice uh, straight cut. And now the other side. Can I cut it nicely, maybe? Oop. Yep, good enough. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's good enough. Oop, nope, holding the wrong piece there. Yeah, I still got plenty of uh, plenty of room. So now I'm just gonna uh, take my little knife and smooth out these corners here so it's rounded off like the rest of the ring is alright and that's a bit sharp so I'm gonna just take this and kinda I'm gonna take this actually and smooth it down a bit now Just kind of rub this against here and it'll smooth it out a little bit. And I want to punch this actually as close as to the edge as possible. So, yep, two more holes. Same as before.
and there we are. That's set up now. So, I'm gonna wipe back some of these uh, bits here. Whew. And I've got all the pieces here. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna fetch some rings and then I'm going to assemble it. <clears throat> All right, I've got some rings here. These are just standard uh, jewelry rings for fixing loops and such. And I am going to, first and foremost, pry them apart. This might be the hardest part since these things are so little, but it's easier if you have a set of pliers. And I'll just finish off this piece since, oops. Since it's halfway done anyway. So here comes a fun part. I have to line it up. I could have made that hole a little bit uh, lower actually now that I look at it. And then stick this. Ah. Ah. All right, there we go. Got all the loops in. I thought they'd be poking me a lot worse, but actually it's quite fine, all right. I might tighten up these right on the knuckle, but the rest is fine. Um, yeah, it's just as flexible as it was before, if not more flexible. And it looks quite cool with these rings on it, more like an actual piece of armor. Now, to do the last part, the part where it's actually going to be on my finger, I'm basically going to make a little chain. I just have to get a bunch more rings because a bunch went skittering off the table. Okay, and now I'm going to basically make a chain. Ouch, stabbing myself with a ring. Probably should have done it with the, uh... Oh, there we go. Duh. Good enough. Well, anyway, that looks a lot cooler. And now I just have to... And as you can see, that's quite a lot more flexible. I could barely bend it like this when I first bought it, and then I finally flexed it, and it broke. And here we are. There you are. <laughs> Needs to be flattened a bit more. These two that I, I bent are already laying straight. So I'll bend the other two back in, and then next time I will make chain for the rest of this chain mill. So, thanks for watching! Bye!